If you're moving to Victoria and thinking about buying a home here, then there are a few things that make Victoria unique and could affect your lifestyle, the kind of home you buy, and even cost you some extra money. My name is Ara Wiley. I'm a realtor here in beautiful Victoria, British Columbia, and I'm here to help answer any questions you might have about moving to Victoria, buying or selling real estate here, and help you avoid these five common mistakes along the way. Mistake number one is not knowing the bylaws and zoning. We have 13 different municipalities in Victoria and each one has different bylaws related to everything from if secondary and garden suites are legal to how many chickens you can keep. Even parking an RV or boat in your driveway can be restricted, so check first if it's important to you. Luckily, each municipality has its own website with all this information available online, so I'll link that below. Mistake number two is understand the property taxes and what's included in them and what is not. For example, Langford generally has lower property taxes than Saanich, but Langford also does not have municipal waste collection, so you have to pay a monthly fee to a private disposal company to have your garbage collected. This is the same for Central Saanich and many other municipalities. Number three is learn the commute times. You can get a newer home in the West Shore versus an older home in Saanich, but the commute times are longer if you have to drive downtown every day. Check Google Maps and use its time of the day function, or better yet, drive the roads yourself at different times of the day to get a sense for them. Souk is closer than Duncan as the crow flies, but the road is windy and narrow compared to Highway 1, so the drive time is about the same. Number four is know the neighborhoods and if there are any proposed developments, highways, or affordable housing accommodations that could adversely affect your property value in the future. We have very few bad areas in Victoria, but there are a few blocks and parts of town you probably don't want your kids growing up in or even walk through at night. This is where a good realtor and local guide can be invaluable to steer you in the right direction to find out what's going to be built next door to your home. And finally, number five, living in Victoria is expensive and will always be so. We're in an island here, so everything from gas to groceries has a premium on it and has to be brought in by ferry. Budget the high cost of island living into your home purchase. If the house you're considering purchasing needs a new roof or a new hot water tank, for example, it's not going to be cheap. If you're looking at a condo or a strata property, you can also count on strata fees going up as BC insurance costs rise as well. Strata fees only increase, so budget accordingly. I hope this has been helpful. If you want to learn more about each neighborhood in Victoria, then please also visit my Ultimate Victoria Neighborhood Guide. If you have any questions at all about moving to Victoria or buying or selling real estate here, please don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.